All right, a few notes about the full plan exercise. The whole point of the full plan exercise is that it's a way to kind of keep your hand stable, okay? But it's, an, it's another way of practicing consistency. So what we want to do is we want to practice focusing just on one finger at a time. So what we do, for example, if you use the eye finger, if you pluck it, we want to leave the other fingers down. Now what we want to do is we want to consistently practice the same motion, right? Try to avoid again pulling like this, but try to move from the base of the knuckle right here. Okay. Now the way it works is you pluck and then you replant. Pluck, replant. Pluck, replant. Same thing with the M finger. Okay. Now when it comes to the A finger, what I want you to do with the pinky is not to plant your pinky on, on the guitar that she plays before. The, the reason why is that this, if you do stuff like this, this creates unnecessary tension. So what I want you to do is have your, your pinky just tucked in with your A finger and then when you pluck your A finger your pinky kind of moves along with your A finger like so. So both your pinky and your ring finger or A finger are plucking together like this and moving together in tandem. So like so. Pluck and plant. Pluck and plant. Pluck. The A finger is probably going to be the hardest because your fingers get progressively weaker when you go down this way. So this will probably take a lot of time to um, take um, some practice. Another reason why is also that your middle finger and your ring finger are both attached to each other. That's how the human hand works. So there might be a tendency when you move the A finger that you want to pop up your middle finger. So I just want you to take this really slowly and carefully that you're essentially trying, you're going to train yourself to have your independence from your ring finger from your middle finger. And you need, really, really need that if you want to get better at finger picking. Okay. So in those exercises, if you see like I am, it's exchanged between I and M. So the way it works is to be I plant. you to watch your hand make sure that each time you're always plucking consistently with the same motion follow through this is what you want I want you to observe okay, and then if you see I A it's gonna be I and A finger so I So forth. Okay, now what about the thumb? So when we pluck, of course, we want thumb and out towards this way. So when we pluck, especially the the fourth string, we're, we can't. Uh, well, we'll get to that later. But we want to do also a free stroke on the thumb. So the best way to describe this is that you kind of push in a little bit, and then you kind of have this little scooping motion, like so, because your thumb naturally has this kind of motion where it kind of has this rotating scooping motion. We want to utilize that. So you just pluck, plant, pluck. So yeah, you're kind of going outward this way, like in a circular motion. But after you pluck, try to replant. So we get a consistent motion like this. Okay, now what about the la these last two strings? The the more higher you go up, the harder it is to kind of do that motion. You might have a tendency to want to do this, right? So to avoid that, what I recommend is doing what we call a rest stroke for these two strings. So all you need is when you pluck, you want to bump to the next string like this. Stuff like you know, 
bending your, your thumb like that. You always want to have it kind of nice and straight like so. Just plug and just plug in. Same thing with the bass string. So these two strings again, breast strokes. Okay? But when you get to here, you want to have a free stroke. So it's kind of a little scooping motion, right? From this angle. Okay, so that's how these uh, little bass exercises will work.